Rad, it's been such a long break. I don't know if I remember how to do this. Oh, it's simple, Gem. Just remember the ABCs of Ask SP. Of course! Could you remind me about that? Uh, always be answering. But that's ABA. ABBA? Ah, oh, the phone! Uh, hello? Are you talking about oh, ABBA without me? Uh, uh, hi, Darren. Oh, no, we were just answering some questions at the Ask SP desk, setting them back into the year. Oh, wonderful! Oh, why don't I help you out with some questions, then? <laughs> All right, D-Man. We know how you love to answer questions. Let's start with this video from Evo. Very good games, Bomb Point. My name is Evo. I have three questions for you to answer. First, will a new game of Ratchet & Clank be coming out anytime soon? Second, will a new movie of Ratchet & Clank be coming out? Third, what rating do you give Ratchet & Clank? If you don't answer these questions, I'll stop all your internet. Evo, out. Ah, thanks, Evo. OK, Darren, I know you're a massive Clank fan, but oh. any insider info about the new Ratchet & Clank game? Well, what I do know is that Insomniac Games, the developer of Ratchet & Clank, became an official Sony game studio last year. And the CEO of Sony at the time said that things like Ratchet & Clank are vital series in the present and future. Ooh, could that be a hint there'll be another Ratchet & Clank game in the future? Maybe for next-gen PlayStation when it comes out? Oh, that sure would be exciting news. <laughs> now, what about a new Ratchet & Clank movie? That I'm not so sure about. The first film, released in 2016, wasn't really what you'd call a commercial success. It didn't make as much money at the cinema box office as was expected, and the critics didn't seem to love it either. If you have heart, then you have what it takes. You don't have what it takes. Wait, God. Next! But Sony, who, as we said, now owns the Ratchet & Clank developer, has actually launched a new unit to focus on adapting games for film. So it does seem like a new Ratchet & Clank film is something they might be looking at. That is some pretty nifty intel there, Darren. The next question is, what would we rate Ratchet & Clank? Well, I've only really played the 2016 Ratchet & Clank, which was a reimagined version of the 2002 original. Yeah, me too. I found it a fun, all-round action platforming experience. I'd probably give it a solid four out of five rubber chickens. Yeah, samesies! What about you, Darren? Well, you can find all of GGSP's past reviews and scores of Ratchet & Clank games in our online archive. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so much gaming goodness in that archive. Well, thanks for that, Darren. No problemo! Until next time, ring, ring, why don't you give me a Bye, call? Bye, Darren! Ah, now, the Ask SP inbox is absolutely chockers, so let's move on to another question quick, Smart. Am I going to answer this one from one question in Bundy, Queensland? Only one. What are some good strategy games? Thanks! Oh, I was right. Thanks, one question. What a great question. Short and sweet, straight to the point. That is a good question-asking strategy. Uh, agreed. As for some good strategy games, well, without getting too deep into a discussion about what is a strategy game and what is a tactics game, I think if you're keen on strategy, you might like games such as Faster Than Light, Into the Breach, Wargroove, SteamWorld Heist, or SteamWorld Quest. And if you have a Switch, there's Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. And the Civilization series is amazing for turn-based strategy. Or if you want real-time strategy, you might like something like Anno 1800 or Age of Empires 2. I love Age of Empires 2, one of my all-time favourite games. Can you tell I like strategy games, Gem? Not at all. <laughs> now, I'm not quite as big of a fan of strategy games as you are, Rad, clearly, but I really enjoyed the Banner Saga 3, which blends some great storytelling in with that strategic combat. Oh, nice. Moving right along now, and let's have this video question from Archie. Hi, GGSP. I have two questions for you. One... When will Minecon Live be in Australia? And two, how do you get Gear VR and some games on it? Because I want to play Minecraft VR. Thanks. Bye. 
Thanks, Archie. In answer to your first question about Minecon Live, well, I wouldn't count on a Minecon Live event coming to Australia anytime soon. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. Although Minecon originally started out more like an actual convention event open to the public, over the last few years, Mojang have been running an interactive live stream that you can watch online instead. That's right. However, during last year's Minecon Live, there was talk about a new live event called Minecraft Festival. The first one of these is set to be held in Florida in the United States in September this year. Oh yeah, I haven't heard any suggestion that they'd ever bring it out to Australia just yet, but if it's really successful, maybe one day. Or there could be other Minecrafty events held here. Oh sure. Now onto your question about how to get Gear VR. Well, Gear VR is a VR headset which only works with certain compatible Samsung devices. The games for it, like Minecraft for Gear VR, must then be downloaded to that device. So you'll need to check all of this out with your grown-ups to see if it's something that would work for you. Um, Ah, and keep in mind that VR is not recommended for younger gamers because of your developing eyesight. And no one really should be playing VR for long periods of time. But I believe we are out of time for Ask SP today. If you have a question for us, head over here to our website to send it in. And remember, those awesome video questions will score you some cool GGSP goodies like a pin and hat and stickers. Oh, I love it. Can you believe it's already 2020? <laughs> My, how time has flown. Speaking of things flying, Rad, you know, I really thought in 2020 we'd have flying cars by now. Yeah. We, we have personal helicopters. They're really loud. Takes a lot of energy. It's not as good. No.